All right, you bunch of bastards. I saved this one for the last batch of reactions today. It's the Mighty Number no. 9 trailer, Masterclass. And I have seen constant bitching online about this trailer. Um, I've seen Mighty Number no. 9 gameplay before. I'm not concerned there. Uh, I understand where people are coming from if the trailer uh, is marketed to like it, it from from what I've been hearing it sounds like the taglines and stuff that they're using in this trailer it, it's marketing the game for like six year olds or something which is kind of stupid because the only people that are really gonna end up buying this game are the people that have already backed it so I, I understand you there um, but I'm sure the gameplay, the actual game part of the trailer still looks fine. Uh, maybe you've always agreed with that. I have no idea. I won't say. Um, so, yeah, let's check it out. Bop. Hey, you, looking at the screen. Let me ask you a question. Do you like awesome things that are awesome? I do. Then you gotta play this game, dude. Okay. Freaking cool Fuck, bro. Crazy addictive, like popping bubble wrap addictive. <laughs> Check this out. See, that's your dash. That move. There's a short dash, a long dash, jump dash, spiral, slide. There's probably a dash that makes you. This game looks really fun. I don't know. Uh, it does. Great idea. Wait, what? Point is, you're dashing around like a friggin' moon man, and I love it. <laughs> like a oh, moon and man. This. There's all these combo moves you can do. Then you can do combos on combos to rack up your score. And I know you like that combo on combo action. <laughs> but I saved the best for last. Absorption boost. You kill an enemy, and you can absorb their power nice. up, stuff that'll make you faster and stronger. Mega Man! The guys cry like an anime fan on prom night. Okay, that's that's the line I saw. So you, you ready to play? <laughs> it, it's just I'm stupid. Kidding. No one's talking to you, Vernon. Mighty number nine. June twenty-first. I'm definitely picking it up. Um. Maybe not right away. Uh, I'll see how it reviews first. But um, yeah, no, it, I, I, I don't know. In my opinion, it looks like old school Mega Man games. Um, the gameplay is there, it seems. I like the art style a lot. Uh, except for one thing that's always weirded me out is the um, his face. It looks like, um, if you guys have ever seen um, A Hat in Time, A Hat in Time. Um, it, it's sort of similar to the way they do Hat Girl. Is her name Hat Girl? No. I don't know. The Traveler? Whatever her name is. The main character, uh, her face. With, like, these kind of cut-out eyes, noses, and mouths. Um, I like it in A Hat in Time. I think it works really well. I don't expect it in a Mega Man game. It just comes off sort of cheap. I don't know. It doesn't matter because he's so small anyways. It's just like whatever. Um, anyways, uh, looks great. As for the announcer guy, I don't know. He, was, <laughs> he didn't offend me. He was just kind of goofy and stupid, but <laughs> whatever. It's, <laughs> it's a goofy and stupid game, I guess. <laughs> so get over it. <laughs> anyways, I'll catch you all next time. Did you like this video? Hit the like button. Leave a comment in the section below. Let me know what you want to see me react to next. If you really like the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. You can also find links to the Facebook and Twitter page in the description below.